Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment Course from New Earth One Network. This is designed exclusively for your higher self connection and embodiment. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We are excited to be with this beautiful being, Jules Arnas, who's sharing new quantum technology with us. And we welcome everyone, really, to this sacred space. This is our space of love and light in the face of everything. And this is really an empowering time, an empowering year, even though it may be chaotic and hectic seemingly on the outside, what we know on the causal planes is here already and it's coming into manifestation. And that's why it's so important to always hold our vision of new earth so we can bring in some amazing technologies, healing practices, solutions, and new earth creations. And speaking of new earth creations, Jules Arnas has been one who has been tuned in and tapped in to her higher self and her guides, bringing forward this incredible new technology. We're going to talk about it. This one is called EvoStar, Evolution of Scalar Transmission Atom Response. That is quite a title, and we're going to learn all about it. Hi, Jules. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Lauren. I'm so happy to be here. Let's start with the energies of this year, 2022. Here we are. These are the divine codes. We can really say that these codes are the physics, the frequency, and the vibration of new earth creations. How are you feeling about it? Let's get an assessment from you. Thank you. Yes. So for me, we, we really have moved into, I call it the miracle pattern and we have the ability to experience the new earth right now in every aspect of our lives. But what I love about this year particularly is there's a couple of things that are happening. And one is that vibrational pattern of connecting to the intelligence of the the unity pattern, you could say, or that we pattern. So collaboration this year is going to be so big and being able to hold used reflection, but in the sense of using it for elevation, not for agreements. It's that, that old paradigm of needing to have information, agree to the information and then create form around it yes that but as long as we're doing that by consistently agreeing to the frequency that is in the next pattern and that's how we will accelerate all of our experiences very very quickly and that you know streamlining that over into this app it's just you know this was actually supposed to be uh created last year at the end of the year and it got it was as soon as the new here hit it was four days later it finally went through because it just had to wait for this year because we do have very specific codes and technologies that are being activated for everybody that is ready and through those technologies the way that we see the world will can completely change wow that's some big words we i think we're ready to see the world in some big ways so you mentioned this app this app Tell us about that. This is what we're talking about today. Absolutely. So I've been working on Evo Star. So it's evolutionary um, 
oh my gosh, I can't even say it. It's like, phew. but so I've been working on it for, there's been different stages. So the first stage was the evolution symbol. And we shared that on one of your past shows. And that was, so go and look that up in the past with a show that we did on the evolution symbol. And we do a whole retreat around the six attunements that it holds. And then it went from there to moving it into actually bringing very specific frequencies through the technology. And so the, the second level of the technology was to take uh, monatomic gold and structured water. So it's working with both the DNA, the fluidity of the body, and then it has as we use magnetics that we put on the spine that activates the ions of the spinal fluid and all of that. So that's the second level of the technology is actually preparing the body to be able to activate these technologies that we all hold. And if we we actually are the most advanced technology in the world. And it's funny that we we have the illusion that we're creating these technologies because we're in this dimension of duality. But the truth is that what we're actually in creating is already inside of us. And not only is it inside of us, but we're holding it at a much higher frequency to where potential is so beyond what we could imagine. So then when the, this last part is the app where we're actually working with very specific scalar technology. So when you you go into the app and you pick what you want to work on, because we all have things that that feel out of harmony. And once you pick what's to say it's a manifesting abundance. And so you'll pick that and it comes up with a very specific code. And then you download your picture into the app. And then you go to it's an image of a person and in the image of the person are all the very specific codes that as you're looking at it, you have to look at it for just about three to four minutes, it moves into the brain pattern and it starts to activate those technologies, both in the DNA and in the, um, the you, you could say the, what do you call the electric responses of the mind? Just um, synapse responses <laughs> of the mind. And so what it does is it shifts everything so that you are actually in projection or expression of the very frequency that you're trying to manifest, but it's using the technology and your purpose, your purest form in order to do that. And a lot of you might be saying, well, what is exactly does that mean? Well, what it means is that you shift out of the experience of reflection or duality. And you truly start to tap into the intelligence of multidimensional living. And I can say for myself, it has changed everything. You look fascinating, by the way, like totally have transformed in some way. So this is interesting. This uh, let's learn more about this program and the app because what's going on more a, a scalar energy, which we know is God source energy, but we're directing this to awaken that which is already inside of us. Yes, and it, so gosh, I, I could just I don't want to go too high because. Of course, that's where I want to go. But so well, the way that we are designed is we have everything we need within our DNA. And right now, we're, I say this in some of our uh, of my other classes and stuff, but we're only using about 10 to 15 percent of our of the energetics of our actual body. Uh, we're we're because we're in this place of duality, let's just say, because we're in this place of this is me and this is my experience and this is what I'm seeing. And, and we, our bodies are programmed to look at our environment or to see things outside of ourselves, to pull that energy in to the body and then 
put it through a filter system of what we call programming or the ego mind that's saying this is good this is bad this is an apple this is a table and uh, when we're consistently putting things into categories well with the technology what we're doing is we're actually turning that inside out and then so what we do is we move into the expression of this technology which is starts to activate this electricity or these synapse responses in our body that are holding intelligence so we can consciously connect to this intelligence and be in an awareness of the information held there and that will be a process of you know some people say the ascension of the light body what instant healing whatever it is that you want to put there depending on where we are within this intelligence and what our focus our awareness is will be our experience until we master that's why it's so fun to play in these realms, because then we start to master the different spaces to where we're literally just moving these energies around and moving our experience around until and those experience actually become the projection of our reality. So we are no longer looking into reality to say who we are, or is it working or what is the outcome? Because we are in such a strong projection of the technology that our bodies are already holding. And a lot of times we'll think, oh, the multi dimensions are outside of ourselves, but they're not. Everything is actually inside of ourselves. And once we start to activate this, we this is the sensation I've had as we've been working with these and we're traveling right now, opening up different energetic grids is I my bought this intelligence that my body actually hold is starting to colonize my body and then colonize my the experience around me to where I can't tell the difference between me and what's around me they're all the same and you start to manipulate the energy within it so I hope that didn't go too far but I could just bleh, you can tell I'm excited about it <laughs> yes it sounds fascinating so Share with us really more examples of what's going on, like in your personal life. How has this changed things for you? How are you able to manipulate that energy? Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, it's so funny because that word manipulation, a lot of times people can get turned off of because they think, oh, I'm being manipulated. But let's just turn that around and allow it to be more of molding or moving frequency in order to put it into a, a or even connecting it to the highest frequency and bringing those lower frequencies into a higher frequency so for me personally when i first started using the technology the first thing that i immediately noticed is it didn't matter what where i was or what my environment was or what was happening around me i was always in the highest frequency and it was really bizarre because i kept wondering is everywhere just an amazing frequency or is this just my experience and what was happening and then i was able to start reading the experience of where i was and then the experience of what was you know what we would call the collective experience but i was able to enter the collective experience without an emotion and so that was the very first thing that happened is that emotion completely shifted because emotion is something that's triggered from uh, a program. So when we have, when we are looking into our environment or we are, or it could be just a thought that gets triggered and hits a program, our body creates the chemical response and then we have the emotion. That can be true for love as well. A love is, an, is actually a chemical response in the body. Well, what started happening is emotion became feeling and feeling was information or intelligence. And so it was a completely different way of being in, you could say, a collaboration with my environment, but everything was based in a very specific frequency that had information. And I was identifying in the frequency itself versus what we would have being able, I guess another way of saying that would be identifying it with when in a program. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So I'm just gonna like let everybody ride that wave. Uh, so that was my first thing. And then I had a friend actually come over. Um, actually, Jennifer, she was on the DQ Body Show. So she was over and I asked her to just try it. This was before it launched. And she picked to work on unworthiness. 
So she did it and she, I, she was just looking at it and she put it and she put it down and she's like, I can't stop. I have to pick it up and, and I have to go through the whole entire first attunement. And so she picked it back up and afterwards she, she sat there and she's like, I don't know what happened, but every time I try to search in my body for a program connected to unworthiness, I can't find it. It's like, it doesn't even exist. And that was after one attunement and there's actually six to clear the whole pattern. Okay, so these attunements, they're in the app itself? Yes. Okay. And so people would just work with the app whenever and run the various attunements and then check in and see how they feel. This is transmuting the negative energies on a multidimensional and cellular way. I love that. And I love that word transmuting because it does literally shift and, you know, we could look at it as you really just move into a frequency pattern and the cells are activating the technology of the DNA that holds that frequency so that you can, can you just move out of the experience of what we would consider negative altogether. And we become more spherical to where we are just existing as everything, but be beyond the ego mind where judgment can even come in to name the experience. And that's where it starts to get a little weird because you're no longer naming experiences and you just start to ride the wave of the highest frequency of every experience so where you start to wonder, well, is everything perfect? Is everything, can it be this perfect? Because you don't stop having the, that place of duality where you're able to name through judgment. Yes, that is empowering and it's liberation as well. Isn't it amazing that technology is here to assist us uh, on one hand, the technology is within us, but there's something outside of us that assists us in doing it. And of course we can do it on our own, this long, slow path. We could call it the stairway in ascension, but technology like this allows us to befriend it, befriend technology and take an elevator ride in this work. That's a metaphor for what's going on fascinating. I love that. And I love the elevator. That's actually how I was ex explaining it this morning to a friend is where we are if frequency wise, you could say we're on the third floor of an apartment and that third floor holds a level of intelligence. And we don't think, okay, well, we also have the intelligence of the second floor and the first floor because we're holding all of them at the same time. And when we start to activate at the highest level of our technology, we would say we move up to the 10th floor. And then all of a sudden we're stimulating all of this intelligence, but we also have this perspective of being able to see out at a much further rate because we're in a higher frequency, but we still are the entire apartment building. And we were just in a completely different intelligence because we have moved through all of these different levels. And I had a point to that, but I lost it. So let's just keep going. Maybe it'll come back. <laughs> yes. Well, it's really interesting as we do this work and raise our frequency and move out through those lower densities and being faced with the choice in the present moment to witness where we're being pulled out of higher frequencies and into lower energies and being responsible for not going there or preventing our, not preventing, but riding the wave of the higher frequency. So do you wanna talk more about that process of awareness in the moment I love that. I, one of my favorite sayings is be the change. And what I mean by that is that when we are in an experience and we have a frequency come in, that is what we would maybe have the experience of a lower frequency. It It's normal to want to either judge it 
have a resistance to it. And then we start to create these thoughts of, well, I don't want this person here. or I don't want this in my life or, oh, I'm afraid this is going to happen or, or oh, I need to leave because it doesn't feel good here. All of those different things. And that's that place of reflection that we use in that space of duality, because really when something comes in, we have the ability to actually stay, not only stay in our frequency, but use it to actually raise our frequency. And one of the most powerful ways to do that is to actually move into the frequency itself. And so whatever it is that's coming at us that we are feeling resistance to, we become that frequency and everyone's like well why would i want to become a lower frequency when you become the frequency it do, it's it's it doesn't exist anymore the only thing that you have the experience of is yourself and so if, and it's a way of neutralizing energy altogether and then when you come back out and you self realize that frequency is no longer there so another way of saying that it would just be in flow because what what takes us out of flow or out of creation is when we have something happen and we actually step outside of the energetic pattern of creation altogether and we start naming it is this good? Is this bad? Is it going to happen? And we create a lot of interference that creates static. And then we have the experience of, well, is this good? Is it bad? Because we started running a program. We can't run our programming when we're in creation. So I love saying, be it be the flow. And so how do we raise our frequency? We stay in creation. We stay in the frequency of what is my next right step? Because otherwise we're moving into the past or we're projecting into the future. And when we stay in the now moment and we just allow the energy of the divine to flow through us and we take that energy and put it into our experience, we are in projection or expression of that frequency. It's when we go to look for a reflection of what it is that we're creating, the interference starts to come in. And that's what this app does is it teaches the brain and the cellular technology to actually hold the expression without having to look for evidence of it working yes all right amazing we're going to talk more deeply about you know how and why you created this app and more specifically what it does but i love that it's really important to stay in the creation energies especially with an opportune year of this year 2022 and every day every moment we don't need a year certainly but it's just a great reminder, the date of 2022, those numbers, those 222 key codes, which are calling on us to bring in more of the divine feminine energies and frequencies. And this is compassion, caring, nurturance, and all of the negative energies that could get in the way from duality, it totally keeps us from that. So isn't that interesting that this is what's going on in this year of great transformation? Mm -hmm. So the key in the pathway for the transformation is staying in the creativity. I love how you said that. Mm -hmm. So when you, do you have anything more to say about raising the frequency? Because let's use an example. Let's use an example. I guess maybe you've already said it but another concrete example of maybe someone in our space, negative energies, but holding the higher frequency. Anything else you want to add on that? One of the, yes, because I think a lot of people do struggle when they're in a reflection of a, a lower frequency because we are designed to, we have something in our brain they're called mirror neurons to meet the frequency of our environment because that's how you create connection. It keeps us safe, all of those things. But we also are, you know, if you're listening to this, you are at a high level of consciousness and we use consciousness to override primal response until we have completely moved out of primal response altogether, meaning that the programming of our body that's keeping us quote unquote safe, that our consciousness is moving into a frequency of intelligence where that no longer exists. And that's what we're doing. So when we're holding, when we're in an environment with a lower frequency, the very first thing that we have to remember is 
that I have a choice here. I have a choice. Okay, so I, I can tell that my, fre my the frequency of my body is wanting to either resist or match this lower frequency. But I'm in this moment, I am going to, the easiest way that we can do it is I ask that my high self and the person, this the high self of this person have this experience. And immediately you can feel a shift in the body because it is at a higher, and then there's no, that mirror neuron starts to move up and we can have the experience at a higher level. But with the other thing I love to do, let's, let's just say your reflection is watching something on TV and, or the news, and it has something that's a negative frequency, then you're not really going, well, I'm going to see the higher frequency of the, of the news. Well, then you start to reimagine. So I'm going to hold, if I am in, in true expression of my reality, I am in creation of my reality and I'm hearing something in this lower frequency, I can either match it and agree it to it, but that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to reimagine it. So I did this um, a while back in one of my classes and they were like, well, what about COVID? Because that's going out, it's going everywhere and everyone's afraid of it. Mm -hmm. And so what I started to do is immediately, I started to reimagine that everyone um, started saying, well, I'm going to, what's, we should all get COVID because if we all get COVID, then our immune system is going to boost. And as a collective, we will all start to create an energetic pattern where the body is stronger than it until it becomes just a regular cold and all these things. And so we started seeing everyone getting together every time they had COVID because everybody wanted to get it. So they started having COVID parties and they all came together in unity and love and they were celebrating getting it. And I know some of this sounds really like silly, but that's because I created a reality where that was possible, my frequency actually raised, and then it, and it started to make perfect sense to me. And it only takes one other person to be in agreement that it's possible that when we're holding the highest reflection of being sick in this way, that it actually can bring us together in unity and love. And then all of a sudden we start to create that reality around it. And so that's what I did by watching the news. So that's just another way. And whether or not that's ever true, I create an energetic pattern where it's possible. And that's where we can start to move into those particles of possibility and start to play in them. And the more that we focus on them, the more they become true until they actually become reality. Beautiful. A great example of how we can uh, transform and transmute the news, events on the news in our world and create new realities, your new potentials of opportunity. And you know, who knows how this is all going to play out, but we're seeing certain things where maybe, you know, even as Omicron spreads and gets out there in a highly contagious way, maybe it is turning into more of a cold as we let it run its course through the physical body. It's kind of scary for some. I know that could be a scary thing, mm -hmm. but this is the point that fear is what we go into, feel that fear, feel that resonance, but then bring it to a higher level, mm -hmm. bring it to a higher level. And we can go into duality here. I know that, you know, this, even this conversation could be dualistic, mm -hmm. but this is the point. If we reimagine the energy from that, from a higher perspective, that's the real work. So we honor that work and this consciousness in the game here. Yes. Reimagine everything. I have a saying that if it's already in form, then why are we hanging out there? Because we're here to reimagine everything. And so yes, we can see it so that we know what needs to be reimagined. But once we see it, then we start to see it in a frequency above it and then above that and above that. And, and when we're doing that, we're, we're literally teaching not only the reality of how we use a reflection or what it is that we're seeing and seeing how 
we were able to shift it and how that actually shifts the experience within our body to where we start to move out of a frequency of emotion altogether. And then everything becomes a feeling or a knowing. And that's when it gets really fun is that you're no longer being triggered by your environment. You're actually in creation of your environment, including your own body. Key words there, staying in the creation, stay in the creation. Divine Feminine Energies of 222 Codes are all about creation, nurturance, intuition, spontaneity. So thank you for that. And, you know, I do have to share something that touches my heart. In my hometown, I'm not there right now, but my hometown was almost devastated by a grass fire. A grass fire. It was unimaginable. So let's use this as an example of what we're talking about. And it's not to diminish the true pain of over a thousand families who lost their homes in like minutes. Um, if for those who might be listening, Boulder, Colorado, 100 mile per hour winds, it started as a grass fire. When I heard about it, I was like, yeah, so it's a grass fire. But the 100 mile per hour winds turned it into a fire hurricane and so when i zoom out and look at the collective i see a lot of hearts opening i see a deepened conversation for our politicians holding our politicians accountable for things that protect our environment things that actually help us go into creative ways of moving forward on the planet that protects and respects the environment. So for something like that, I think we've already transmuted those emotions just by talking to you about this. What would you have to say about devastation and how we move through it from this higher frequency that we're creating in our reality? For me, when we are have any sort of attachment and this is just where it can be difficult because how somebody you will go through an experience like that is going to be what frequency are they at and what level of consciousness does that frequency hold or intelligence and so we do have the ability to go through things that are in one reality it's going to be catastrophic and then the other reality is like oh well i guess i'm supposed to go somewhere else and there's no attachment to the experience because you just like i was saying before you become the change so the fire came in and all of this happened and it obviously is uprooting some people and moving them into so it's the when the mind wants to connect to well what about this in my house and what about this in my house and oh i lost this and i lost this and i lost this it's creating it's a creating a, a pattern that was connected to a program of the past and that's so i'm not diminishing what happened but it, there is a level of consciousness where things like that can happen and you just move with the frequency into the next pattern. And then there's you're not feeding an energetic pattern that this is good and this is bad because we know when we're labeling something as good and bad that we're doing it from a place of duality or the ego mind. And I'm not diminishing what happened, but I am saying where there will be a day where we will all be in a level of consciousness holding a space of intelligence where things like this will happen and it will just move the frequency and everyone will end up where they're supposed to be in a different space but it won't be this big connection to loss because loss is basically another program or emotion that is being played out from the past experience so how can we reimagine this well you see everybody that was had the fire that they, and this is giving me chills because I can already see them. Maybe it, may, it will take some time for them to let go of those attachments that they had, but everything they are, 
lively, they are abundant, they are happy, they are connecting to people that they've never connected before. And it's opening up doorways into their highest ascension because everything is the divine design. And when we can start living our lives by seeing the design and the divine within it, life changes and life is magical. And we all can have that experience no matter what is going on. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, we were chatting about the energy so far this year as well. And it really feels like the old paradigm is totally done with. It doesn't look like that when you read the news or watch the news, hopefully not watching. Well, anyway, people can watch or listen or read the news however they like. I prefer to read it because it keeps a distance in a way. So um, it's interesting that the paradigm of the old, when we're centered in our heart here, is one that takes us out of the ego mind. Sometimes it feels dizzying or it feels like the old paradigm isn't even intact anymore. And then we hear from spiritual teachers like Patricia, Kodal, Diane, Coda Robles, and we learn that the old matrices are totally gone. And that is our creation here. And so as we stay in creativity, there's newness that comes and that's beautiful. How are you feeling about this year already with the old paradigm and the new paradigm. We've been talking about it, but I just want to give you a moment. So for me, when we say old paradigms and new paradigms, what it it's our experience is going to be what frequency you are holding, how much we're able to connect into the intelligence of that frequency, and then consciously start to play it out until we become the intelligence itself. And so Yes, I think that it's it's nice to use the phrases old paradigm and new paradigm, because what we're saying is the old paradigm were agreements that we're no longer agreeing to, because we've moved into a frequency where we can see that those agreements aren't true. And that but that's going to happen. I mean, we could say that the paradigm that we're holding right now, this is so cool and this is true and this is so amazing. And then two weeks from now, we're gonna raise in a frequency where we're gonna look at even the conversation we're having now as old paradigm. And so it, for me, old paradigm is just being in awareness, to, awareness that we just broke an agreement and we're moving into a higher level of truth. For, I also would hope that nobody would wanna stay connected to any level of truth for a long enough, any longer than you need to, except for just self-actualize within it so that you can move into the next level of truth. So in that way, we're doing this on a daily basis. Every time that we are seeing something that is not in truth and we're creating a new level of truth, self-actualize within the truth and then keep going, that's how we're gonna create the new earth reality. But why would we limit it to saying, well, it's going to be this, because as soon as we get there, we're going to know that's not actually what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to limit it, that's for sure. Yes. Don't collapse the particles into what we think it should be. <laughs> Although we do hold our vision in a way, it's important to hold the vision of New Earth, because as we do that, then there's steps that we can take to move forward towards it. And it also allows us to smile when we see miracles happening and things becoming new earth like and we can see that if we read between the lines in many ways we can see new earth that's a whole other conversation but we'll just mention it and leave it at that so thank you so this app all right it's amazing because it really is new technology that allow us to raise our frequency into higher forms of creation and beingness. Why and how, why did you create this and how did it come to you? Mm -hmm. So for me, it's being in creation. Everything that I've created has always been 
direct guidance. And it, how this app actually came to me, because I had been using the uh, monoatomic gold and the structured water and the magnetics, I could start to see how the energetics of my body was shifting. And you know, my passion is moving into the light body. It's really kind of mastering, you could say, the technology of the DNA and moving into 100% potential of the human form. Uh, to where at that point our concept of form completely shifts and so I, I, I do a lot of work around that and I think that's part of what I'm out traveling doing right now as well but I was actually working out it was, it was a lot of fun I've been doing a lot with weightlifting because when I would weightlift I would move into different frequency patterns within my body and one of them I would have kind of what you could say the third dimensional experience or the really form to form experience of working out and then I would shift my body and move into a higher frequency and then all of a sudden what I was doing completely shifted and what I realized in those moments what was happening is I was connecting into another level intelligence that my body actually held to where I was in the experience, but I was in the mastery of the experience in a way I'd never felt before. And in that moment, I was downloaded with the information of creating this app that we could actually use these energetic patterns, the intelligence of these scalar waves to connect to the technology of our own body and really shift us into that space where we're in a complete expression of what we're calling creation and that even doing something like working out completely changes because we're having the experience from a different frequency and that frequency has an intelligence but that intelligence becomes our experience and it's a completely different way of living and I highly recommend it <laughs> yes it sounds intriguing yes all right so then how does it work? So how do we use it? Is it, it's an app, it's on our phones, is that right? It is, it is. So you, you would open up the app and then the first thing it says, well, what, you know, what is your intention? So you can pick something, uh, it's spiritual, is it uh, something of the body? So you can work with hormones, you can work with weight loss, all those, all those different things. Is it you wanting to manifest something? Um, I can, you know, you can just so you pick the category and then you can just kind of float through what it, what is my intention? You know, what is lighting me up right now? What do I want to focus on? And once you pick that, you pick it and it'll, and it, comes up with the code that's holding the, the specific frequency pattern that's activating that technology within the DNA. And then you move in and you take a picture of yourself. So it takes, reads the frequency pattern of your cells through your picture and then moves that intelligence into the body that is holding a perfect form you could just say so and but this is the body in the app is holding all the very specific scalar codes so once that's done you go through the six attunements and each attunement is working on it's basically shifting the reality that you're holding now all the way to part through particles of possibility into the probability that your body is actually holding the expression of that frequency so we're going in what i mean by that the create that you move into full creation of that intelligence so when you're, it's, you're looking at the app it is bringing those very specific frequency patterns and you can tell because you can only look at it for so long before you have to shut your eyes because it's it's you're working really hard because it's literally taking your brain to reprogram looking in reflection and bringing it into expression and it, it it's a weird feeling because we're so programmed to look to get information and then all of a sudden the information is actually coming from you and being projected and so it's a it's a crazy experience and that's why you have to do it a little bit over a time that's wild <laughs> fascinating too and how does the uh, monoatomic gold fit in so that would be taking it definitely to the next level. So the app you can do all by itself and it works amazing. But then if you're really, if these are for people that 
are really just ready to go to that one to 10. It's like, I want to just bring in the full experience because then it's working. The monoatomic gold is specifically working with just the DNA to bring the DNA into expression. Then the structured water is working with the water of your body. So it's whole, if you can imagine 90% of your water of your body is water. So it's raising the frequency of the fluid of your body to hold the frequency of what it is that you're working on. And then the magnetics that are working with the spinal fluid, which is, well, it's your sacred channel. So it's just opening up that space of kind of divine guidance so that you're having the full experience of moving into that place of creation. Yes, beautiful. Okay. So this would be a good time to talk more about how people can work with that app. Um, they it's on their phone, it's a physical app, and then there's other items. So the special offer that you've put together, there's three parts to it. And I know I'm very excited myself to begin working with it, and I know others are. There's a comment I wanna share from Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy says, I have tested the app for two months. It's amazing. I have watched myself be able to maintain higher frequencies. The app works on specifics, but I see it as holistic. I feel it is phenomenal. So what are the six attunements? There's six attunements that go with it, and those work on the whole gamut. They do. So the first attunement is... Uh, it's actually based on the evolution symbol. So the first attunement is the frequency of... How, so let's say you're working with weight loss. Um, so it's how your body and how you can see where you are in the structure of weight loss in the moment. So it's that it's attuning you, attuning the whole entire process of like, okay, this is what, what we're seeing. And it is preparing the body to actually shift. So it's kind of neutralizing that energy. Then the second attunement is the reflection piece because okay, well, this is how I see this in my reflection. So, I mean, with weight loss, it could be, this is what I see in the mirror. And so it's neutralizing that because we have to neutralize what's there to shift it into something else. Because if we're holding, if we have to clear something or we're in resistance to, it's not neutralized. So it's completely neutral realizing those patterns. Then the last one is go, uh, saying, okay, well, this is how you see it. This is what you see in the reflection. And this is actually the purest form. So this is what I say, it's like the divine frequency of that. And so it's bringing in the divine frequency, which starts to open up a portal into, or, or an energetic gateway into the next. And so in that moment, you start, that's when what my, my friend, that Jennifer, that tried the app, she she shifted into that space almost immediately because she couldn't see unworthiness in herself anymore. So she moved it into that divine frequency. So that would be the experience of what it would be like. And then it shifts after that. It bring, starts to bring in the technology of DNA. So the DNA starts to turn on energetic codes to hold the expression of creation. And then the next attunement brings that into particles of possibility. So it basically takes something that was once in density or running a program into a very fluid state of particles of possibility. And what I love about particles of possibility is that they're not actually particles yet. They're just the possibility of what it can become. So in that, in those achievements, it's a really fun space to hang out in because you're so fluid and you're so open, but you have no thought to connect to what it is that it's going to become. So it's in its purest state. And then the last attunement, it actually shifts it into the probability of that expression. And so the body at that point, the technology of let's say weight loss and it totally can changes your what you're seeing to where you're actually in full expression of your purest form so it reprograms the mind to see something different in in reflection but what I would hope and it is that somebody would continue to work on it until they were in full expression. And so what they start to see in the mirror completely shifts into the divine sight to where their mind can't see what was anymore. It only can see what they're becoming. 
Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> really great use of technology, new earth technology, a blending of technology with our consciousness. It really is cool. Yes. So the the six attunements, they can be used. So, I mean, those are six attunements, but this can cover weight loss. This could cover health. This could cover um, skin care, anti-aging. I mean, these are all the, you know, the physical cosmetic things, but this goes into, I mean, the feeling of worthiness. This is um, allowing light workers to step up in a new way, uh, in a bold way, in a courageous way, because sometimes we get hindered and blocked because of it. You know, I mean, if we're scared of being seen, I know that's a big one for light workers. This could help us overcome that. There's no limitations, really, right? I mean, yes, yes. it's the whole gamut. Yes. And it's funny, all of those that you mentioned are, are frequencies in the app that you can choose from. And then there's ones like, I think there's alcoholism, there's depression, there's a, well, you can imagine it, it pretty much, in, you may, it, even if it's not exactly the word that's coming to mind for the person, there's, there's a category that it would fall under that will work it because, I mean, you could think of, okay, well, I actually have a drug addiction, not alcoholism. It's the same frequency pattern. Great. All right. Let's talk about the purchase options for this for our audience, our viewers, and our listeners there, the link is in our chat box. You guys can go and learn more. I'll place it there again. It's also on this web page. But there's three packages. One is the app itself with the six attunements. And then there's a package with the structured water and the monatomic gold. And then there's a class, a three-day evolution retreat. Talk about those. Thank you. Yes. So the first one is everything we talked about with the app. And then the second one is, is adding in the monoatomic gold and the structured water with the magnetics. And the magnetics are, you wear them on your spine and it's working with the spinal fluid and they are connected to an actual scalar device that is basically pulsing energy into the magnetic. So you're getting that frequency pattern consistently downloaded into your spinal fluid and is, it's intense. There's very um, specific instructions that come with that. But I always tell people to just do what feels right because your body will start to speak and tell you what it needs with those. And then the last package is also including our three-day um, evolution retreat. And these retreats are life-changing. It is, I call it the one to 10 because whatever you bring into it, by the time you're leaving that retreat, you are not looking at whatever it is that you bring in in the same way. It completely shifts you into another level of consciousness. And I, it's hard to explain. It's like, how can that happen in three days? And it's all virtual. So you just, you know, you're in the comfort of your own house. And I even have people doing them when they're traveling and when they're working and they're, they're integrating it in, but it, it's so powerful that it completely changes your experience. And I highly recommend it. If you've never done one of the evolution retreats, everybody should do it. And it's, it's just, it is, and it's not about, it's not about me is all I'm doing is channeling the frequency that's coming through and bringing through the specific attunements. But in that retreat, you go through six attunements, just like in the app, but you're doing it in the reflection of other people holding the highest frequency possible. It's kind of that two or more gather. It brings it into a completely different, it's just psh, the rocket ship. <laughs> Taking the elevator in Ascension and really working on the light body. Okay, so that, um, that each of those options include the app as well. Is that right? Okay, yes. that's great. That's really great. You have a nice little sunlight. I know, on I was nose. looking at oh, the sun is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's, this is our world moving. This is us moving on the planet. I love the way that the light moves. It is witness. We are witness to it. 
Well, thank you for that, everyone. If anybody has any questions or comments on this, uh, we invite you to raise your hand in our Zoom audience and share your comments with us. One question from Liz. Hi, Liz. Is this a physical app or is it web-based? I don't know what that means. And I would think physical app, I'm going to guess that that's a physical app like for your phone or your laptop, not like logging in somewhere on an online account. I think it's an actual app that you download. It is an app, and but there is, you do create an account in it because it stores your picture and you, because each time that you put in a new picture, it stores the frequency pattern of each picture. So there, you do create an account with it. I don't know if that's what she means, but the account isn't being stored anywhere. It's just being stored within your own your own little ecosystem that you're created within it. So I hope that makes sense. And I don't know if that's what she's asking, but. Thank you for that clarification. You know. No, it's not a physical item. It's something you download on your phone. The physical items are the monoatomical, the structured water and the magnetics. Those are physical. Great. Yeah, those will be mailed to you. Yes, shipped out to you. Good. Okay. Well, again, we invite those to, I put the link in there. It's hard for me to type right now. So you guys just check that link. That's the special offer link earlier in our chat. I sent a, a note to learn more about this episode. You can also reach that there. And again, on this webpage, you can find the link for that beautiful program from Jules Arnes. It is quite amazing, Jules, to see how you have evolved. I mean. We've known each other for two years now, and you look completely different. Amazing, amazing. Proof positive on the work that you're doing, and proof positive on the power of our consciousness. And you're showing us great ways that we can make strides in building our light body and using technology with it. It's fascinating. All right, comments and questions. Here is a question. Uh, Liz, again, Liz, thank you. If energy is neither created nor destroyed, then the old system paradigm doesn't die or go away, but instead regenerates and transmutes to an elevated state. Can you comment on this? I love this question, actually, because this is so much where I exist in, is within this question, because uh, and I'm going to say it again, our, our experience and even what we say is true and not true is going to be what frequency we're holding and how we're able to hold that frequency unconsciously, because we can hold high frequencies, but if we're not actually conscious of the intelligence that's held in that frequency, we'll feel it, but we're not aware of the intelligence that's there. When we start to actually connect to the intelligence that's in those higher frequencies, our reality changes. And what we say is true is changing so much so that I'm going to just hint just a little bit in this experience that I've been in now, truly like breaking breaking a lot of things that we would say is even true in quantum physics because we're moving into an intelligence outside of that. And so what my favorite way of explaining this is, is I call it the God sphere or the divine sphere. And, and I had, and I'm just going to tell a quick story here. I had a friend of mine, I was doing this interview and I was asked, well, why did you could say, why it was creation created? Like what went from, let's say the God particle to creation or what um, the big bang, if that's your, your theory, or why did God create the earth and people and all these different things? Like what made that little like initial creation happen? And immediately I knew it never did. We, we are having the experience of creation because of the frequency that we're experiencing within the sphere that is holding 
the divine, you could say the ultimate intelligence. But because if so, if we're anywhere inside of the sphere, so I have it as the one, the three, so you, like, let's just say you're in the three frequency, that's going to be a reality. And it's all that you can see, even though you're inside of the God sphere, that's all that you can experience because that's where your frequency is. Once we meet the frequency of the of, of the full sphere, we are all that is. And what that's when we can either move into God reflects God and then everything becomes becomes divine. Oh, this is divine, this is divine. And that's when we're in full creation. But then beyond that, we can actually move into a level of consciousness where we just are. We just are the expression of the divine. And then we don't see energy as this and that, or this and that. And that's another way of categorizing. And it doesn't mean that that's not true, but the truth truth is that none of it is true like that it's just in full expression all the time depending on where we are within that expression we will have the illusion of it's either this or this or this or this or this so I hope that kind of answers your question without really answering it because for me, a question is there only long enough to say, well, this is true. This is the frequency I'm tapping into beyond that truth, knowing that if I can actually tap into that frequency, there's something more. Awesome. Thank you. We're meeting the full frequency in the sphere, the divine sphere. I like to see it as zooming out to be that witness we zoom out so far away that it's from that divine perspective that's how i see it anyway so thank you for that okay we have a question that i'm going to get to from our caller and i would like to also ask here's a question from armendia amendina amendina beautiful name so would i use all six attunements for the same focus and intention like losing weight or would i pick six different focus intentions she would use the same intention and do the six attunements and but you know the directions say to do it do one attunement either three days or do it all six, three times. So you can choose which way to do it, but there's times where you're gonna wanna take a day off. And that's where it's like, yeah, okay, these are the instructions. So, but you pick one intention and then you do the six attunements and to get the most out of it, I suggest doing it three times. And that's just through my own experience because by the end of, you almost wanna stop before you get to the, the end of the third time because it's so gone, but then you know you have completely reprogrammed into a different space and you are fully turning on the technology of the next expression. And then if you want to go and pick something else, but it is fun to, you know, a big part of this is being the witness of the of the transformation itself and starting to see how it works and when you start to move over to the other side and you start to master the expression of what's happening you kind of move out of that space of oh I want to move on to the next thing you move into the space of like Ooh, I really want to keep playing here because not only am I changing what I see in the mirror into seeing what I'm becoming but I'm actually having a communication with the energetics of what I'm becoming. And I'm downloading that intelligence and it becomes so real. You don't want to move on. You want to keep playing in that frequency until you completely self-actualize in it. And that's why those who have worked with it feel that they've been able to maintain their higher frequencies. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, I would like to unmute Liz. Liz, you can ask your question and unmute yourself. So we'll give you a moment to do that. Okay. And in the meantime, again, thank you for sharing this beautiful technology. And now we have Liz. Hi, Liz. Speak again, please. We can hear you.
Liz, Liz, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to Kathy now. Okay. Hi, and Ka Kathy, you can unmute yourself. Hi, Kathy. Um, hi, how are you doing? I just wanted to tell you that um, with, with um, testing this app, it is absolutely brilliant. It is... Um, amazing it it balances your frequency you can work on something and it works on the the um uh, it works on the item but what i feel is that it takes it up to a different level so where you're you're in a balanced space balance balance is it's very um i would recommend it highly I would also recommend doing the um, the package with the retreat because the retreat will change your life. I'm tapping into where Kathy is speaking from, and what she's feeling is the is is that little place where everything starts to become divinely perfect. So it does, it has this, this, you just start that roller coaster of, is it this, is it this, is it working, is it this, and you're so connected to the emotional pattern of outcome goes away, and then everything is just in this place of, because that's really where we get, we have change is when we move out of looking for outcome or um, uh, what is the other word that I use isn't coming to me, but we move out of that place of, is it working? Because when we're looking for, is it working? We, are con we keep connecting to the energetic pattern that it was created in. And, and then you're trying to ch make change with something like this. I mean, it's literally impossible. But when we, it, what the app does is it brings us into that frequency that Kathy's talking about where everything feels balanced, but really where she is, is, is it's, she's existing in abstract frequency where she's no longer looking at what it was that she was trying to, to change because she's in a frequency where the change is actually happening and that judgment or the experience that she was having before isn't there. And it, it is, it is a, a strange experience to go through, but that's why I would hope that when somebody starts doing it, just keep going, just, you know, find your little thing that lights you up, but it's going to change everything, not just that one thing. And I love that, Kathy. Thank you for sharing. Thanks, Kathy. Do you have anything else to share? Um, no, that it's just very simple. And the simpler it is, the more awesome it is. <laughs> yes. I know the divine speaks in um, simplicity. It doesn't have to be difficult. It's only our ego mind that makes it hard. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for sharing, Kathy. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thank you. You know, this is where trust comes in this this balance is really what brings in trust as well and we are mastering our emotions this is really helping us master the emotions which is a vital part of ascension yes <laughs> thank you well thank you thank you thank you kathy and thank you everyone for joining us Jules, this has been amazing. And as we wrap up our call today, I just want to give you a moment to share any last thoughts that you may have for everyone. Just be you. You know, people, I love, you used the word bold a little while ago. And that's what this year is all about. It's about allowing ourselves to move outside of our comfort zone and, and that divine frequency to flow through us and, and really step into it in ways that we haven't before. And we do that by fully surrendering and trusting in that frequency or the intelligence beyond that. And so play, play in what that is for you and, and then be more and more empowered as you continue. I have this thing, it's, it's not a yes unless it's a divine yes. When we say yes, frequency where it's coming from a knowing, we are unstoppable because it doesn't matter what reflection or what anybody else says or thinks, because it only makes us stronger if we have anything that pushes up against a divine yes. And if we each in this moment can just commit to living our lives that way, 
everything changes because being empowered in that divine frequency is the new earth. And it's, it's a, such an easy, I have this thing, it's like, it's so easy. It's either you're in the divine frequency or you're not. And if we could just have the awareness of where am I living my life from, everything changes. And we are feeling that. Thank you. You have made a shift in our lives and our vibration right here, right now. And we're either in the divine frequency or we're not. And that's new earth. That's the frequency of new earth. We've been talking about the physics, the frequency, and the vibration of new earth. And I thank you for this new earth technology. Thank you, Jules. And thank you, everyone, for your light and your love. We've got this and we love you. Thank you, Jules. Yeah.